So we're back here first thing. Great news is the concrete's cured, which means it was dry enough and warm enough for it to completely go off, certainly hard enough to lay on. Um, first thing we've done is run a string line from the existing brickwork up to the corner point where the return goes up to the house. So this string line will mean that our bricks and blocks will run completely flush with the existing house. Um, the important thing is, as we touched on yesterday, was getting the concrete to the right levels. And the important thing for that is if you get it to the right level, you haven't got to start cutting small bits off bricks and blocks to tie in with the existing brickwork. So material wise, coming out the ground, there's, there's quite a few different options. You can do it in bricks, you can do it in concrete blocks, which we've used. Um, there's things called turbo blocks, which is basically the double width of a block. Um, in this case, we've used concrete blocks and then you need the bricks, either new bricks to match existing or if you've got reclaimed ones to tie in. And then obviously we need sand, cement, uh, we also need something called feb uh, or an old school bit of washing up liquid which makes the muck a bit fluffier and, and sort of bonds it better um, and then you're pretty much ready to go. So mixing up mortar or as brickies call it muck um, you can do it by hand the problem with that a it's longer and b you don't get the consistency and you can't mix it properly that you do with a mixer so if you haven't got one by all means go out and hire one you can get them for most um, sort of big builders yards or, or tool centers and then with the mixer the standard mix for most of these sort of things is about five in one so what you add it's five parts soft sand or building sand uh, one part cement and then you add this additive called feb or washing up liquid to the water and then you pour that in and then that brings the whole thing together and as I say, with the five and one, you've then got a fairly strong mix, which you can lay all your bricks and blocks with. Some people like it a bit runnier, some people like it stiffer. It also depends on how much you're laying. There's no point in knocking up a stiff gauge if you're doing a big run of brickwork because it's going to start going off and curing, especially if it's warm. Bit of water and feb to start with. Five parts soft sand or building sand, one part cement. And then if you want it a little bit runnier, just add a bit more water as you go. And then you've got your perfect mix of five and one. If you put your trowel in the mixer and run it through it, it should leave a mark and not collapse on top. So if it collapses on top, it's too runny. If you have to force it through, it's obviously too stiff. So really, as you put your, your trowel in, it leaves the mark and it stays there. All the mortar is knocked up. Um, bring it around in a wheelbarrow. Some people like to put it on a sport board. Second point is once you've got that, run half inch bed from your existing brickwork to the edge of where you're running it and then just use a straight, straight edge or spirit level and mark a straight line with your string line so you know exactly where to lay the blocks and then you've got a perfectly straight line and then you'll have a, a straight line running off the existing property. So importantly, when you're setting out, corners first. So existing property, first block, existing property, first block, and then your corner. And then generally what you do is you have your first course, if you like, and then certainly with brickwork, you need to get your corners up first. So average bed, for block work is about half inch, 10, 12 mil. Yeah, it's important structurally to stagger joints. If you have your joint running all the way down, that's gonna cause a weakness if there is a heavy load on top. So you always stagger your joints, hence it's called brick bond. So you've got a full block, full block. You're not gonna put one on top, you're gonna to stagger like that. So it's pretty much halfway along the block, which creates a more sturdy base for the rest of the bricks to lay on. If you need to cut bricks or blocks, if you're really old school, use a hammer and bolster, but these days you've got cutting tools such as a petrol grinder. Um, again, you can hire them if you don't own them, but you can get an exact cut rather than just hitting it with a hammer and bolster where it could shear and, and crack off. So the best way is, is usually a petrol grinder to get a perfectly neat cut to get it to fit. String line's probably a brickie's best friend. As I say, you run it off the existing brickwork to your corner point, and that will give you the top of where that next course of bricks is running up until. So we've got the inner skin and outer skin up in block work. 100 mil blocks with 100 mil cavity. Inside, we're going to put a 50 mil insulation tight to the inside skin, which will create the cavity wall. 100 mil blocks, 100 mil cavity with 50 mil insulation onto the 100 mil block on the outside. And referring back to the drawings, we can check here under new external cavity wall, it says exactly what we've done. 100 mil blocks, 100 mil cavity with a 50 mil cavity insulation. So we stick into the drawing, stick into regs, and that will complete the first stage of the block work.